Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, I think we should do a little something about food and um, because of that, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating inside of Canva. So if you think, you know, this is already whetting your appetite and um, you'd want to be able to prepare this inside of Canva, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. fantastic so before we get started i want to you know as usual recommend canva pro to you so i have a special link in the description box below just in case you want to upgrade to canva pro okay at a very cool price or even if you want to try canva pro for free for 30 days you know just testing things out to see if it's something you would like to use so check out the link in the description box below plus another thing i would also want to say is any external elements i would be using in this very tutorial can be found on elements.theafricangeeks.com so as we go on you know um with this tutorial and you realize that there are certain elements you are not finding in canva you can go to this website i have just mentioned to you and just search for it download and upload onto canva so without any much i do let's get started with today's tutorial all right so you can see what we are creating today so the first thing we are going to do is to add a new page but with you you just have to come to create a new design and then um, you can just choose custom dimension oh sorry not this one but i've actually also created a tutorial on this you can check out um after you've watched this one okay so the dimension i'm using is 1080 by 1350 so this is what we have and the background color i'm using is let me just check it out quickly it's 4c0 300 okay so 4 c0 300 so um just do that and um you should be able to get something like this the next thing i'm going to do is to come into my uploads and i uploaded um some sort of a gradient shadow already inside of um uh, my canvas so this is the shadow i'm talking about so you can go on elements okay um, the element website i shared with you and just search for shadow and you should be able to find this so um, after you do that just upload it in canva and um, just do what i'm doing so you rotate it to 90 degrees okay then you can increase the size now this is not 90 so yeah 90 degrees and um, you can increase the size make it very big you understand so this is what we have and you can just center it here okay then come into click on it first and come into edit image in edit image it should load but not load too much okay and just find dual tone so you can just search for dual tone over here and then once you start typing you see this option over here so you just you know click on it and you see so many options over here but the options actually do not really matter so just double click on any of the options over here and um, i forgot the color code i used but let me just pick it up for you quickly so I would select on the highlight okay and use the color picker okay then i'll just choose you know something from here okay so f3740f that's the color code you have to use then come into shadows and you know also paste it over here okay then click on apply so after you click on apply this is how it would look before but once your design gets saved everything would look normal so you can see our design has been saved successfully and this is how it's looking it's not looking the best so we come to transparency and we will just reduce the transparency okay so we would have something like this then the next thing we are going to do is come back into i'm just going back into my um how do you call it my uploads but you have to go into the element website and search for ice cream you would see you know these three options so just choose any of them you like i like this one so i position to the center i increase the size then i come to edit image okay in edit image i'll just close this up and go to adjust so click on c or i would use the brightness to negative nine increase the contrast you know to okay somewhere like 36 and the saturation to boost the colors okay so to 30 so this is what we have at the moment okay and this is looking yummy you can see so what we could also do was to reduce the blurriness let's say um the image was looking so blurry but in this case i think it's looking just fine so the next thing we are going to do is let me just check over here okay so 
um you see this um coffee beans we have over here you can find it on the element website just search for coffee so i choose this one okay and i increase the size okay then i will just crop it just to get one of it all right so this is what i have over here and we have also these types over here as well so i can let me just zoom in first and crop okay so we just copy this way and copy this way you understand so what we are going to do is we are going to spread this around okay so i increase the size of this one and i would maybe position this here and just make the size bigger this one can also come somewhere here duplicate it you know make it smaller duplicate this one okay um you can just make this one bigger you know position it somewhere here you can also duplicate this so it's just a matter of you being creative with how you want your arrangement to be and in my case i'm going to skip this whole process so that we don't waste any much time all right so this is what we have at the moment and the next thing we are going to do is we want to add some depth into our design so for example with this um coffee bean we have over here i'll just select edit image and i come in to adjust okay see or and i increase the blurriness of it okay so in this case i can just copy it come here and also do the same okay but you can see first of all the color of our coffee isn't looking rich enough so we can just increase the you know saturation and the contrast we can just increase them okay then okay just copy come here okay then we can just paste this one also over here but with some of them you know the smaller ones can just remain um sharp so i select this one i paste the same okay filter code come here um you know i can also just do the same for this so i can just come here and you know paste <laughs> okay so uh, just in case you don't understand what i'm doing but what i did was after i added you know this adjustment to the image i came here and just copy the filter code and in this case with any other one for example if i select this one and i come to edit image i can just replace the filter code you understand and whatever that i have done will just be applied to it okay so you can see how this is looking so we'll just do this for the remaining two and i believe you are also doing the same for yours okay so this actually helps you to you know um avoid repeating the same edits for the same um photo or whatsoever you are trying to you know apply some edits on so you can see how this is looking and um you can just also still find this on the african geeks element website okay then we have some leaves so the leaves i will just find it in canva so i come to photos okay and um in photos i'll go to recently use but in your case you can still go to the element website search for leaves you'd find a lot of them over there okay so i come to see all and i'll just search for it so you can see this is the leaf i am going to use i come to edit image and i will just you know use the bg remover to remove the background of the leaf okay so this is one of the reasons why i would even want to um, recommend canva putty because i believe it's a tool that can um, help you in so many ways and um, just in case you're trying to build on your design business investing in canva pro is a very good deal so check the link in the description box below and upgrade to canva pro so that um you can join the big men <laughs> okay i i know you've heard this song um you want to run with the big boys you know so there's one of the things if you want to um start actually earning with canva okay okay so um i just click on apply and i will reduce the leaf over here okay then in this case i can rotate it this way reduce the size oh i didn't wait for my leaf to finish saving okay so i come here and click on the background remover again but this time around it should do everything quickly for me okay then i click on apply the design should be saved before you do any other edits just in case you are on canva pro okay then we just you know i can just do this duplicate and just like we did for the coffee um bean so we just do the same okay and i can also rotate it you know position it maybe somewhere uh here okay duplicate it uh we, i will just also make this smaller make this one bigger and maybe i can even send it to the back okay 
so something like this and i think duplicate and place one more over here so with the bigger ones like i did earlier i would make it blur okay so i come into edit again and i would increase the blurriness of it okay so then maybe add a few edits to this then i just copy the color code so copy and with the bigger ones i just apply okay so you can see this is very easy and very simple you understand so one thing i would want us to add is this thing we have over here so you can search for if you're on canva pro you can search for bare lap hasian second but i think you can also find it on the element website okay so um in this case i will just copy this and paste it over here and when you add it what you have to do is you come into you know edit image and um, come to see or you can see the edits i did to it so the brightness i set it to negative 43 the contrast to 51 and the saturation to 27 so that you can get it looking very interesting like this okay so after you do that you can send it backward okay so that um all your coffee stuff should be on it so i can just maybe duplicate my coffee place this one here and i can increase the size a little bit okay so that we can have something like this then maybe let me just reduce this a little bit because we want to add some text all right okay then we select this reduce the background no reduce the background reduce the size okay and i reduce the size of this one to more and maybe position this one here and this one there so you can see how it's looking so now press t on your keyboard if your t um is still enjoying the holiday since today is second may um you can just you know come over here and click on text okay then select any of the options over there so i can just say break time okay so b r e a k t i m e okay then i would move it to the top over here and rotate it slightly okay so this is what we are also doing position it here and make it bigger all right then select all and move it to the bottom a little bit so you can see what we are doing over here then come to elements okay and in element search for stroke okay so when you search for stroke you see so many strokes but come to graphics no 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 come back come back to all come back come back <laughs> yeah i know i'm speaking to you as if i'm sitting next to you but don't worry that's how it's supposed to be you know and find this one okay it's also free so you can um, just find it increase the size position it here and i think let me just move this coffee thing maybe up here okay so then i just let me click away okay select it and i'll change the color to the yellow i'm using okay then we added you know i just added this text over here which i think is something you should be able to add because at this point i don't know if adding text is something i should be explaining <laughs> okay so then i just paste it over here okay just the price so with this one i'm using poppins okay because it's small i can't even select it okay so you see how sharp our image is that's beautiful and even with this you see how sharp it's looking okay so i would um, reduce it and paste it over here so this is all you have to do just add um the popping thing okay add the text add the line and this is popping medium that's popping medium not popping okay so that's all um we had to do i know yes they might not look similar as you know i did the first time but you know you can't make the same design twice there will uh, definitely be some sort of um you know changes or something like that to it so yes this is what i wanted us to be able to create inside of canva and um if you've been able to make it to this point of this tutorial i just want to say i really really appreciate you you are so special to me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because more and more and more canva tutorials are coming up you can also um you know share your thoughts with me in the comment section below the name is benjamin don't forget there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video.